I tell you, for all the talk about these new technologies, solar, wind, geothermal, or my favorite, pixie dust, uh, there's, there remains the problem that that's sort of fantasy land, like uh, alchemy in the Middle Ages, and in the meantime, real people have to live in the real world, and so for all the tough talk about Ontario going super green, well, they needed some backup power, and joining us now in studio to talk about that is our friend Lori Goldstein. Lori, around the world, I'm not just talking about in Ontario, but in Germany, in Poland, in China, whenever you have some green scheme, it's really just a PR exercise because behind it, you got to get the coal or the nuclear because those things always work as opposed to wind, which maybe sometimes works. Yeah, and China and Poland wouldn't be surprising, but Germany, Germany's going back to coal. Now, yeah. they say the reason they're doing this because of the Fukushima disaster, but, you know, they've been held out as the jolly green giant of all yeah. this. They're, they're going back to coal. Yeah. And the reason uh, that the whole world stays with coal or realizes it can't get off is that Coal's the cheapest, most reliable uh, uh, form of energy. And we it's have. found in so many different countries. Exactly. Now, um, one of the biggest disasters is right here at home, and that's in Ontario, where what the McGuinty government said they were going to do was get rid of coal and replace it with wind. Yeah. Utterly nonsensical. I, I tell you that Nancho power plant near Hamilton was literally one of the biggest coal fired yeah. power plants in the world. Yeah. I mean, it was enormous, and, and it, was, it, it powers so many homes. You shut that down. All of a sudden, you're scrambling because you can't rely on a windmill. Well, remember, they promised in 2003 to eliminate it by 2007. That's yeah. what Dalton McGuinty did in the 2003 election. They still haven't eliminated it. They're saying they cut next it down year. to half, right? Yeah, I mean, they're saying for next year. It's yeah. an incredible piece of industrial infrastructure. Yeah. And I'm sorry, you can't just say, well, I got a few little whirly gigs and uh, I got this solar yeah. pan. I mean, uh, those are trinkets. Those are for, you know, trade shows as like a gimmick. That Nanico fire plant, I mean, you, uh, so they went to gas, right? Natural gas. Power. That's what they really did. Yeah. They told us they were going to wind. Yeah. Utterly, utter nonsense. Wind cannot replace coal. So how many natural gas power plants did they did I they think plant? they built, it was, it was about, I think, 17 or 19. I That's, think a, fair That's, That's a fair oh, no, number. That's a fair number. It's a large number. Now, the advantage is that natural gas in terms of pollution and uh, carbon dioxide emissions is much lower. And natural gas, the price is falling because of fracking. That's so it's, right. it's actually a, a winning strategy. I got nothing against coal, no. but if, if you're going for a different fuel, natural yeah. gas fired power plants, that's probably the future if you're not going nuke. Yes, but, but what unfortunately what the Ontario government did was that they, uh, they told us they were going to do wind, but it was actually natural gas. Yeah. And then they um, uh, rammed these wind turbines in all over Ontario, yeah. involving massive subsidies that the Auditor General said were not necessary. Yeah. Wasted, we're going to get on our hydro bills in, in uh, Ontario yeah. and other, other provinces to be warned, Billions and billions of dollars that we of energy we can't use that's unreliable yeah. because the wind doesn't always blow, sun doesn't always shine. Yeah. So we're going to be doing that for decades. We're going to be paying for that. Jeez. But beyond that, they took away the powers of local municipalities for any say in these wind turbines. Yeah. And that's what makes the biggest scandal of the McGuinty government so hypocritical. Yeah. While they were ramming these things in rural Ontario. Yeah. And they're huge, by the way. Oh, like, yeah, they're these, not these like are, a little mini golf winter. No, these no. are sky. I mean, 30, 30 40 stories. It, it is like a skyscraper. You could not get a building zone that way. Yeah. You could not build a 40-story skyscraper in the middle of a field. Yeah. Think, of, think of a jumbo airplane with the, with the, with the you know, up, facing up, yeah. with gigantic, um, you know, yeah. uh, Flickering turbines. in the light and uh, shadows. Well, that noise. That. But what they did do, they rammed those things into rural communities, many of them in conservative ridings. They're a liberal government, yeah. not all of them. But then when it came to the wind, to the uh, gas plants, mm -hmm. The, and, and they called anybody who objected a NIMBY. Yeah. Both uh, the, uh, uh, the premier did that, Premier yeah. McGinty, ex-Premier McGinty, yeah. uh, George Smitherman, then energy minister said it. Yeah. So they do that. They just ram these things in rural Ontario. And then what it looks like they make lose five ridings in Mississauga and Oakville just before the 2011 election, they cancel because of the, the gas, gas fire power plants. Because right. people there were protesting them. And suddenly, those people in liberal ridings weren't NIMBYs. They were, as we later heard from Premier Wynne and ex-Premier, oh, they were citizens. We, yeah. we, this, we have to act. Yeah. And so basically, we now know that uh, they, they lied. They said the cost would be $230 million, which would be bad enough. Yeah. The Auditor General said it's over a billion, closer to $1.1 billion. <laughs> Do you know how bad it is? Their staff recommended to them at one point on one of these plants, it'll be cheaper if you just build the plant and leave it there so we don't have to violate the contract. Oh and you know, I know what the government said? Oh, well, we can't do that because the people will be suspicious. Oh so God. that's how bad it was. Oh, my Where God. Where their, their bureaucrats... Cheaper to build a power plant and, 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 and not even there. turn Moth it on. Mothball it. Mothball it. Unbelievable. 
they would have saved money. And, oh, my. And, and, politically, yeah. and politically, they went, no, no, because then they'll still think we're going to oh do it someday. And so these are, now remember, oh. these are the people who vilified people in rural Ontario as NIMBYs for opposing that says not useless in my backyard, wind yeah. power. Not in my backyard. And yet they cave like this. And, uh, it, it, it's one of the most appalling, yeah. uh, cynical, politically partisan but things. But a feast I've seen for in, lobbyists. A feast for lobbyists. Oh. I mean, not just on the wind turbine side, and it's a coincidence that the former president of the Ontario Liberal Party is a big wind company president. Yeah, he was and now one of them. The yeah. federal Liberal Party, same guy, wind turbine yeah. company. And, but it's not just the wind guys who are feasting. I, I mean, the way you describe it, it sounds like this natural gas uh, company made out just fine after all the because of the uh, contractual. And I'm not begrudging them holding a government to a contract. I'm just saying everyone did well but the taxpayer. Ex Premier McGinty goes into the committee hearings and he's asked about this wording that, that the company should be made whole. He said, Our side never, never used the word made whole. The Auditor General, you know, nonpartisan above politics, yeah. later comes out and says, well, you had a meeting with these people, and they come out, and they said their understanding was that you made them whole, and they were made whole. Yeah. I, I, mean, I mean, we're talking about over a billion Jeez. dollars not to build gas plants. You know what? I, it, it's like e-health, a billion dollars uh, not to have an electronic. Uh, the, the Liberals are experts at spending a billion dollars and not doing what the billion dollars is for. You it, know what? I mean, I'm a newcomer to Ontario. I'm oh. from Alberta, and I just wonder if Ontarians are mad enough or if they're just in this inertia if they're zombie walking yep. and saying and if they're immune to the number of billion they've heard it so many times they actually don't care anymore that's a problem oh a billion a billion well you know pretty yeah. soon you, you we talking trillions Trillion, like real money. Yeah, but what, what i'd say is ontario look we've got our own issues here but to the rest of the country if it's you so see your politicians talking about wind turbines and a lot of developers coming in and telling you how wonderful it's going to be, you get out the tar, the feathers, yeah. the pitchforks, yeah. and the torch, yeah. torches, and you go yeah. after them, yeah. and you challenge yeah. them on this, and you say, how are you going to be different from Ontario? At you least Ontario should be a lesson if it's a disaster. If nothing else. If nothing else. Thanks, Laurie. Hey. Thanks.